Mishans World 96 here with another review, this time of the Star Wars Sideshow 212th Attack Battalion uh, Up to Pal uh, clone. So here you go. So this was given to me to review by a fantastic toy store, Toy Anxiety. Uh, they're a great place, tons of 1 and 6 scale figures. Highly recommend them for all of that. If you're ever in Arizona, definitely go check the, at their store for all your toy needs. Uh, but if not, go on their, uh, their site, ToyAnxiety.com. The link will be in the description. So let's get this guy out of package and uh, see what he's all about. So here are the right hands, and uh, overall there's definitely a lot of them, there's six. He's got a relaxed palm, a, uh, a fist, a, just one single pointing finger, a, uh, a um, gripping palm to hold things as well as the guns. That, that hand holds all three guns the same, a saluting, and then a thumbs up. So overall they're pretty much basically the same for either side. The only difference is the, uh, the left side comes with a double pointed finger, so it's this finger and this one that are both pointed, as well as a, uh, uh, two fingers like that that are spread out, kind of like the peace sign. So that's really the only difference is when it comes to the hands on each side. I really like how they give you so many, so let's go over the right hands. So these are just his right hands. As you can see, he does have seven of them. Very cool. They're all extremely different, and uh, I'm going to go over them all. This one is just, it's very flat. It's just for uh, saluting, which is pretty neat. I like that they add that. Kind of a uh, peace sign or, you know, an eyes poking, whatever you want uh, to use it for, but that's cool. He comes with a, uh, a grip to hold uh, his weapons, and that grip holds all three of the weapons. A uh, thumbs up. A uh, yeah double pointing finger so that he can uh, give orders, a relaxed palm, and then a fist. Of course, really cool. I really love it. If I'm not mistaken, they're all the kind of same ones that I just reused from other figures, like Commander Neo. I know that he came with all these hands, but overall it is nice that they give you so many so that you can have tons of different options because uh, if, you, if you're a big clones fan, you got a lot of clones, you don't want them all doing the same thing, so it's great that you can really customize these. Weapon-wise, he comes with uh, many different weapons. First off, you got the DC-17 pistol blasters, which are pretty nice. They're well done. Um, these are just reused parts uh, or reused uh, weapons. See if we can focus. There you go. They are reused weapons from other clones. Um, the one that I can name specifically is uh, Commander Neo. He had all of these weapons already. So. Uh, if you have other clones, and especially if you have Commander Neo, these are definitely just reused. But overall, they were wonderful to start with, so I don't really mind it much. And then you have the DC-15S Carbonite Blaster, which is this. Very cool. Really like this. Uh, this seems to be like the signature weapon for uh, most clones. It's very nice. It's got lots of nice little bolts there, which looks pretty cool. And I do like the uh, the detailing, especially in the wire there. This is the only one that has like a little gimmick, if you will say. Um, it's just it's on a hinge up here and a hinge down here and it just flips up to the back as kind of like a little scope and uh, yeah it overall it looks really nice and uh, I do like it and if you wanted to you could even uh, just kind of display it like this so that you have uh, the, uh, the person holding it to shoot it so yeah but overall that's very nice and then you have the uh, DC-15A Rifle Blaster, really cool, very long, and uh, extremely nice. Another pretty much signature weapon. These are all pretty pretty signature weapons for uh, clones, which I do like. The grip has some nice detailing on it, if we can focus. Alright, so it's got some nice detailing on it. There you go, now we focus. And uh, the overall, the metal is done really cool. I love the little bolts. They're, uh, they're just really designed nicely and everything. Overall, it looks very cool. A little bit of like battle damage, like scars and like scuffs, like the metal's not 100% new, which is cool. And uh, so overall, weapons are just very nice. Even though they're reused, they're very nice. So here he is in a pose holding his rifle. As you can see, he looks super awesome. He holds it extremely well and uh, just really perfect. He also comes with extra feet, as you can see here, for uh, battle action kind of poses. And as you can see, I have it on this side. Really cool, great for slouching poses, kind of like this. They're getting ready for battle, kind of uh, ducking for cover. Overall, it's really neat. I love that they give you the extra uh, pair of shoes to really uh, help with the ear, customizable with posability. So overall, really like it. Here he is holding the DC-15S Carbonite Blaster. As you can see, looking really cool. I really do love it. And uh, this is probably the way that I would pose him on the shelf. Looks awesome. I just, I love it. It really looks cool. It just, it gives him like a bigger feel because the gun is still pretty big, but it looks small with him because he's so, you know, beefed up with all of his armor and everything. I really like it. He looks really awesome with it and it's just very nice. 
onto articulation. So articulation is very cool, pretty standard for all uh, these you know clones from Star Wars, but uh, still go over it. Very nice. He's got a ball jointed head, allows him to look up and side and just really just wherever you want. Love it. And uh, Commander Neo's neck joint, um, I forgot what it was. It was it was kind of just like you'd have to move it and then it would kind of just slide back and you'd have to like get it like in a position so it would kind of like lock that way to get his head to stay. This guy I'm not having that problem whatsoever, which is really nice. He's got ball hinged shoulders and if I'm yeah, it's got that hinge on there as well so it can go side to side. He's got a uh, uh, bicep swivel, double hinge elbows, hinge swivel wrist, and then he does, um, if I'm not mistaken, have a ball joint upper torso and a waist swivel or something of that kind. The only problem is the, uh, the suit completely hinders it. And it's a shame, especially since this is not just one connected piece. It is cut down here, so if you, um, apparently it's not good to, uh, uh, to disrobe these guys to kind of get them out. You could break the figure really easily, but if you were going to, uh, you could uh, separate it from the top piece and then the lower piece. So it's not like it's connected by one piece, And uh, but he still can't use that articulation, which is a shame. Uh, as far as thighs, they move great, as you saw from uh, my um, scene where I showed him with the rifle blaster. He looked really cool with it. And uh, really just full rotation. I think it's a ball, uh, ball hinge with a, uh, a swivel thigh, which is really nice. Double hinge knees and hinge swivel ankles. Overall articulation is spectacular, as it always is with these clones. Lacking in um, waist or upper torso articulation. That is okay though, because you know if they did make it more uh, movable, the chest piece, it would look a little bit off. So overall, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't need the chest to move. But overall, very nice articulation. So now on to the actual figure. So, uh, so overall, he looks very cool. This type of clone is specializes in high altitude drops. Really neat. I really like that concept. I like when they kind of have a theme or like a, one certain thing that they do um, best and stuff. So I really do like that. And uh, to me, I think that this guy uh, really resembles like a commando boss, um, a Republic commando. I think that he just uh, he kind of gives that kind of look. Kind of got the beefy look to him and the orange and everything. So yes, I thought I'd just point that out. And uh, who doesn't love those Republic commanders, so he's got a very cool look. So now, as far as the face, the helmet, really nice. I do like it. It's kind of a, it's pretty flat from the side here, and there is a very large crease down the uh, the helmet, which is a shame. It's it's pretty visible. I mean, there's there's a there's a, a decent gap in there, kind of in paint at least, uh, which really does hinder the look of it. The back is very cool. I like kind of those tubes and those layering, which is really nice. It's got some battle damage scars around it. Which which I think is a cool idea, and they look pretty nice. The only thing that I'll say, and uh, just I'm kind of skipping off the helmet really quick, is like in the chest and in the face and the shoulder pads, the the battle damage that they have, they're very cartoonish in my opinion. I mean, it kind of looks like a sticker. It doesn't really look like real battle damage, unfortunately. As we go down into the figure, the battle damage does get a lot more realistic looking. But um, I, I just don't know why it kind of gives that a uh, cheesy, you know, kind of a TV show kind of look to it. Uh, so, uh, so you know, that's a shame. But uh, I'll back onto the face. The face is very cool. It's extremely unique, but still holds that clone kind of helmet look, which I do love. I love the unique looking clones, and this is one that is definitely unique looking. The face is really cool, and um, the whole mouthpiece is just really interesting. Almost a little Darth Vader-ish uh, kind of look, which is neat. And if I'm not mistaken, the, the helmet is the reason that it's got that kind of funny look is because it helps him pump in oxygen or something like that to help him while he is uh, doing high altitude drops, which is what this uh, clone is specialized to do. So overall, I really like it. I like the thin eyes. They look really cool, pretty menacing, and really nice. And the orange didn't go overboard. You know, it's very slight, subtle, but still looking really cool and keeping uh, his, uh, his uh, kind of group together with the orange, because he is under the command of uh, uh, Commander uh, Cody, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. Now down to the body. As you can see, it's really nice. I did talk about a little bit about that uh, battle damage. The shoulder pads are really cool. The one on the right here is totally just orange, while the one on the um, the left is white. Kind of familiar, but anyway, it's got a uh, on the what is this? The left shoulder. It's really cool. It's got it's got this like a nice little uh, armor pad. I don't know what it is. It might be ammo, but overall it does look really neat. It's got a lot of nice detail and everything, which is cool. And when he uh, when he goes out for his uh, Saturday morning jogs, he does have a place to put his iPod, as you can see. No, I'm just kidding. But it's very nice. It's a cool little pack. Uh, not there's I don't know what it is, so it's hard for me to judge it. But overall, it looks pretty cool. 
As far as everything that he has on is really nice. I mean, just I like this little piece of like uh, almost leather like looking, which is cool. It's got some straps and some buckles. He's also got this uh, bandolier, which is really nice with a satchel on the end. There you go, as you can see, really cool. This can open, it is on Velcro, and you can just, you know, put wherever you like in there. I really do like that. I think that this gives them another really unique thing that, uh, with these clones, they have to come out with unique figures because typically people have bought the older clones, so they have to keep selling them on the new ones, and, uh, they're just, they, they're doing really well because I really like it. He does have these grenades, which are removable, uh, which is really cool. Really do love them. I don't know if they're, they look kind of smoke grenade-ish to me, not quite, uh, exploding grenades. But overall, they look really nice, and you can remove them and everything, have them hold them, which is cool. And then the orange, as I like, uh, the orange is very subtle highlights. I think that they're doing a fantastic job with it, and overall it looks really cool. The utility belt's very nice. It's got lots of nice detail, and the arms are cool. Of course, there is separate paneling. You can easily slide those off if you take off the wrist, which is nice because it allows him to, uh, to keep the movement, which is great. And then we're getting into a little bit more realistic battle with kind of the, the dirt marks. The dirt marks are, like, very realistic. I really do like that. Still continuing with those kind of, like, stickerish looking type things, in my opinion. But, uh, but overall, they're being placed a little bit more subtly and a little bit more better, in my opinion. Just, like, here being on the corner, they don't look bad on the corner or anything like that. It's just when you do like the huge gaps like there that it doesn't look great. So now let's go on to the uh, bottom of the figure. So down further, as you can see, the legs are very nice, continuing with that paneling that is not like attached anywhere, so it does help him with uh, articulation. He isn't really hindered at the knees or anything like that, which is great. And he does have a very unique thing on here, which is really cool. It's a uh, com comma commander skirt, so uh, that's that's what they call it. Very cool. I do like that. You know, we've seen these with a couple of the commander clones or specialized clones. Really looking cool. I love it. I love how it's attached right here onto the waist. Really looks nice. It it is of course fabric and it does have some posability. I don't I don't think there's any like wire in there. It's just the way that it's kind of stiff um, fabric so it can uh, it can kind of be manipulated to uh, where you'd like it, which is cool if you're doing any uh, poses with him, like jumping out of a plane, because uh, he specializes in that. You can kind of lift it up or something so that it kind of looks like he's falling, which is pretty cool. And the um as I said, the uh, the battle damage is getting better and better. I, at the end here, there's barely any of the uh, other type. It's all this kind of dirt, which looks extremely realistic and really well done, which I do really like. So overall, very nice. So this Star Wars 212th Attack uh, Battalion up to pal is just a super cool figure. I highly recommend it. And the reason I recommend it is it's so different, which I really love. He's just, he's got such a different look from all the other normal clones. And if you're a big clone collector, you know, you got a bunch of clones, you don't want to be getting the ones that you've already had. This is perfect. He's got an extremely unique uh, face uh, helmet, which is great. He's got that comma commander skirt, which is a neat, very rare to find on figures, because only really commanders have them, which is awesome. Uh, as far as accessory wise, most of them are just reused. There's a lot of reused guns, a lot of reused hands, and of course the same type of feet. So as far as that, there's nothing too new. But as far as the armor, it's all completely new, which is great. I love the satchel and everything. It just looks fantastic. Overall, this is an incredible cone. Highly recommended by me. I love this. It's just super cool. And uh, so far the best one I've seen. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And uh, I, I just like it because he's so different which I really just I love that and I love when they kind of have like a you know a thing to him this guy he's just for high altitude drops which I think is so cool I love it when they have a little backstory that's very simple and neat so overall extremely high recommended and I highly recommend you to go check out toyanxiety.com a fantastic toy store for all your one and six scale needs they just have it all the link will be in the description if you're ever in Arizona definitely go check out their store so overall a highly recommended clone by me and uh, uh, I'm just super happy with it. He looks fantastic. Thanks for watching. For size comparison, here he is with the Naked Snake uh, figure as well as the Hawkeye figure. As you can see, I think that he's in tremendous scale with them. He looks really great and uh, I really like the scale. He's in perfect scale. So yeah, if you're wondering, his review will be up next. Transformers 96 here and just want to say thank you for watching my review and to definitely go check out ToyAnxiety.com today. They're an amazing toy store for all your 1 and 6 scale needs. They have everybody. They sell high quality at low prices. Go to ToyAnxiety.com today.